Hey everyone, my name's Steve. Welcome to my channel. It is a Friday before the long weekend. I have the day off. So of course I'm in a great mood. Um, and more importantly, I've got a thousand dollars that I have to invest in my wealth simple trade. And if you are like me, you are investing in dividend stocks to grow up that passive income. So we're gonna go into that, but just I wanted to share kind of where that thousand dollars came from. It was actually, I got the idea from another video from um, Robin Hanley, I might be mispronouncing your name. He had a video that talked about um, some of the mistakes he made and one of them was putting money, opening up a tax-free savings account through his financial institution and treating it as a savings account, which I was still making that mistake. We had two different tax-free savings accounts and I was basically putting just $50 a month into the other one where it's like, no, 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 you've got to stop doing this. So, I transferred the money around and thankfully today I have a thousand dollars to invest in stocks. So instead of getting 1%, you know, I'm going to buy some stocks that are going to get me on average 4% yield. So I want to kind of go through that with you guys and um, yeah, this, this is fun. Who doesn't like uh, buying stocks? You know, if you're a nerd like me, that's why you're here. So. Um, Let's get into it. First, I'm going to talk to you about you know how I'm choosing, what stocks I'm choosing to invest in. So here is my spreadsheet. I'll just kind of zoom up. Uh, I know my head's going to be in the way partly there. So here's kind of where I keep track of everything. I, I highly recommend that you create a spreadsheet to kind of keep track of this stuff because this becomes invaluable when you're trying to make some decisions. Um, mainly right now I'm looking at some where I have some unrealized gains. So that's kind of dictating where I start to kind of put some my money because who doesn't like buying stocks when things are dipping and I'm um, getting a good deal. So if we look at this, this is where, how I'm deciding like today, I'm going to put some money into Manulife. I'm going to put some additional money into Vanguard. Um, as well, I'm going to put some money into Diversified. Uh, Royalty Corp and Chorus Entertainment. Um, one reason why I'm not putting money into Brookfield Renewable Partners, even though like, you know, it's, it's a negative 15% unrealized gains, is that right now it's making up 25% of my portfolio. So it's a little big where I'm trying to get everything over this next year, you know, just putting money all over the place to even everything out to be roughly between like eight and uh, 10%. So more like 8% because I think there's 11 different positions I have right now. So that's kind of some of the major, major factors of where I'm deciding to um, put the money. Uh, one thing I added to my spreadsheet was showing the X dividend date. Um, so I was contemplating, you know, do I put money into Manulife where I just missed the cutoff date to be receiving the, their next dividends, which would be paid in June, I believe. So I was like, oh, do I kind of just hold off putting their money there? But then it was still like a negative 4%, you know, I can't resist kind of trying to top that up. So let's jump over into Well Simple Trade and actually let's start buying these positions. So. Here's my account with Simple Trade. So I've got two different accounts, the personal tax-free savings account. Um, if you followed me before, and please subscribe, join me on this journey. I'm not really doing much with my personal account because those are the first three stocks that I purchased. They're not dividend stocks. And as you can see here, you know, I'm down 40%. So I'm just parking these ones and I'm gonna look at these periodically and see if they're doing anything. And if I'm making a profit, I might sell them and take that money and put it into the tax-free savings account and buy some more dividend stocks. Um, right now, my performance in the tax-free savings account is generally doing well, you know, 1% increase. Um, it is the Brookfield Renewable Partners that is kind of dragging me down right now. Negative 13%, $153. I'm down. So again, that's why I'm not, I, maybe it's counterintuitive. Maybe I should buy more into that. But again, it makes up um 25.86 percent of my portfolio so i don't want to really balloon that because then again if it does really bad it pulls everything down so the first one i'm going to buy is um actually vfb this is the vanguard s p 500 index um i currently have two stocks here 
and you know it seems to be kind of right now at least it has been yeah it's been down a bit in a dip where you know the the growth is just it, it's up and up so this is an ETF so there is a bit of a management fee but I think it's like 0 0.8 percent 0 0.08 percent so very very low so but this gives me exposure to the American markets so my plan is to do three market buys of this stock so here we go okay place that order done so the next one I want to buy is uh, Manulife. So as you saw, uh, too far out there. It, in my spreadsheet, like you know, this will show it too. You know, I'm down kind of four point five percent. So then I'm really kind of averaging down that that price. Um, it pays a good dividend yield, four point five percent. So this is again a great company, Manulife. Like they've got offices, or actually I think they used to. They had a bigger footprint in Kitchener Waterloo, um, but yeah, it's a company I deal with them personally with with our benefits. So great company, they pay great dividends. So I'm going to buy twelve stocks of Manulife. So let's go through with that. Okay, and then the next two that I plan on buying are Diversified Royalty Corp. So I think I've talked about this one slightly before. This one is a company that owns like different brands like Air Miles, Mr. Lube, Oxford Learning Center, um, Nurses Next Door. I'm not familiar with that comp that uh, business, but I'm buying this one kind of, kind. Of, this, this is a bit of speculation, which again is why this is not financial advice. This is for entertainment. Enter <laughs> this is for entertainment purposes only. Hopefully that was entertaining. That tongue tied. Um. So yeah, this is me speculating that you know once the pandemic kind of starts to ease up, that consumer spending is going to increase, and therefore for air miles and some of these different businesses are going to see more um, activity. We can kind of see it slowly inching up forward. Uh, they pay a 8% dividend yield right now. You know, I imagine once it gets kind of back up to its um, regular full price, which um, this, this won't show me what that is, um, that dividend yield is actually probably going to go down roughly 4%, which again, that 4% dividend yield is kind of what I'm looking for overall. It's kind of what I'm building all my projections of, you know, how much passive income can I grow in a year on. So it's 8% now, but that that's actually going to go down. And the one bad thing about the Diversified Royalty Corp is that they haven't really paid a high, they haven't had any dividend increases very often, but I'm okay with that because actually what they do like is that they pay monthly. So again, I'm trying to right now in this first year and a half, get as much dividend payments as I can to reinvest things a little bit faster. You know, I'm only putting $250 every two weeks. Um, that was money that used to go to kind of try and pay my mortgage down faster, but now I'm going to divert it more into a tax-free savings account because again, I can grow that money. I can put that money to work faster and um, grow some more passive income. So diversified royalty corp, I am going to purchase 79 shares of this company. So that's only coming up to like $200, but then that just will give me that passive income on a monthly basis. So I can reinvest that faster sooner. So let's go through with that. And because um, well, simple trade kind of adds that five percent. I'm not sure how much I'm going to have left over to because I kind of wrote down want to get 39 shares of this next stock, but I'm not sure if I actually can. And that stock is Chorus Entertainment um, Inc. So let's take a look at the five-year course. So they used to be up high. You know, this is the, the two. This is the 2017 2018 mark. They went. The, the business shifted, but there. You know, um, always look into any company that you go look. You're looking to purchase. You do your research. You know, don't just rely on you know these talking heads videos or just um, look it up. This they this was some business deals that kind of went a little sour. They were trying to sell off some channels to I think it was Bell. 
Um, but the deal went flat. And then also the uh, owners of the company kind of were selling off some shares to to create, I think it was Freedom Mobile. So that's why the stock took a hit. Obviously, the pandemic happened around this point, And then they've been slowly having some steady growth, um, which the, um, I'm hoping to kind of capitalize on. So and they pay a dividend a 4%. So again, that's kind of in that sweet spot that I'm looking at. And I will see if I can buy the 39, but I think I'm, nope, oh, looks like I can't. So I'm gonna get 39. I think I chose 39 because it kind of puts um, the dividends that I, not the dividends, the stocks that I own at a more round number. So who doesn't like round numbers? So, and right now it's down 3.19%. Um, so again, I'm averaging down my cost which is always great highly recommend it um although someone did recommend make a comment in the, um, on a previous video that's just saying that you know because i am dividend investing that you know sometimes averaging down my cost maybe isn't you know always necessary but to me it's just kind of it's part of the fun of like you know buying the dips watching it kind of grow back up um it's just part of the strategy but hey i love the comments please leave me comments, you know, tell me what you think I could be doing to improve uh, my strategies. Uh, I had a great conversation with a friend just the other night. He was showing me kind of how to kind of look at the line graphs and just look at things differently. So um, I'm always open to suggestions. I definitely want to keep growing how I um, invest. So, and there we go. So 39, let's, let's buy those. Then, yeah, I knew it. There's not enough to complete it. So I might just lower this to, let's see if 36 will go through. Let's buy, and that's going to go through. So I just knocked off five stocks there. And so then that's going to conclude what I'm going to do today. I The next step I, I go through is then to actually update my spreadsheet with all the transactions, but I'm going to have to wait till those actually kind of all come through. Okay, here we go. I have just got all my notifications from Well Simple Trade. So I have updated my spreadsheet with those numbers. So if I go back here, you know, some things are still in the red, but um, the, these percentages are way lower. And even like, you know, the, the percentage of holdings is getting closer, you know, some are at that 8%, but like right now for a little while, it might kind of be that 8 to 10% as I kind of move the money around as needed. But then Brookfield is down to 20%. Um, and the one thing that's awesome is to look at, um, interesting, these charts aren't showing up because I've got some columns hidden. But at one point, um, my dividend average yield was 3.5%. So now it's up to 3.64%. And my annual dividend income Actually, uh, monthly. I just wrote that one down. It was it was twelve dollars and three cents, but now it's up to fifteen dollars and forty three cents, which that is awesome because it's all about growing that monthly dividend income. So again, like that's gonna help. I'm always gonna reinvest it, but just in my mind, it's like okay, that helps pay for Disney Plus and helps pay for you know, or Disney Plus or like, you know, Google Music or any of the different streaming services that we use. So can't wait to see that grow. So let's kind of jump back into Well Simple Trade. And it locked me up. Anyways, um, we'll just stay here. Um, but that's that really kind of concludes the video. So that was great. You know, it's not going to be every time I'll have thousand dollars, but then next week I'll have another two hundred fifty dollars I want to put towards um, the accounts. And yeah, it, that's um, really concludes this video, guys. And it's been great. Again, it's it's the Friday before the May two four weekend, so I hope everybody stays safe. But get out there, enjoy the sunshine. Um, our plan is to kind of get out and go for a nice family hike. Um, in at the Halton Conservation Area. So be safe and see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later. Bye.